next Board of Education meeting uh, to s start the activities. I'd ask you all to turn up your cell phones and then secondly, uh, join me at the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Thank you, everyone. And with that, I'll ask the secretary to call the roll. President Wasserman. Here. Vice President Brandstad. Here. Secretary Baker. Here. Treasurer Singer. Here. Member Frizee. Here. And Member Gorton. Here. And Member <coughs> McFarland is absent. Okay, thank you. We have a full quorum. Uh, first item on the agenda is the consent agenda. You've had that in front of you. Uh, just a quick perusal for the audience, uh, a few Resignations, uh, a hire, a uh, reissue of a purchase order for a hoist repair that now includes a uh, labor. So we've got to fix that. Uh, members of the advisory panel for our advisory board on instruction in sex education and birth control are listed. I won't go through all the names, but it's a good cross section of the community again, as we typically have had. And uh, legal invoices for payment. Any questions? Uh, of what's in there and any additions or deletions requested. None? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion. I move we approve consent agenda items 2.1 through 2.6. Second. Second. Second by Patrick. Uh, any discussion or questions? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. We'll move on to Board of Education matters for a very nice update, and I'll hand it over to Mike. Yes, um, we have Tracy Renfro from Chestnut Hill. As you know, they were recognized this year as a national Blue Ribbon School, and Tracy has two of her lead teachers with her to talk about uh, their visit to Washington and the process. Thank you. Thank you. We're glad to be here. As you remember, a year ago, September, we were one of 13 schools nominated in the state of Michigan by the Department of Education to apply for Blue Ribbon School status. We weren't sure at first if it was real or if it was one of those who's who in American education. <laughs> <laughs> so Brian checked it out for us and we were good to go and we applied and this September we were notified that uh, we were in Blue Ribbon School. So Margaret's put together a little PowerPoint for you. Um, it's not little, she says. No, I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> um, a little bit of our trip and celebrations we did have an assembly with the students the Friday we returned to show them our flag. We also received a flag to fly and a banner. And all they want to know is where is the blue ribbon? <laughs> there's not, not a blue ribbon on anything we received and they keep asking, where's the trophy? Where's the blue ribbon? But they're really excited Good about question. it. We had our plaque in our lobby over parent conferences. We had a lot of students and parents stop and the kids took their picture with it. And we've even had uh, students return to Chestnut Hill that are now in middle school and high school to do the same thing. And it's a great honor and we're glad to be here. That is a great honor. Okay, so as Tracy said, now we have a short little uh, iMovie just to kind of highlight um, some of the big things about the trip and then also some of the student celebrations afterward are actually live while we were there. Um, and I think it's a really cool thing for Midland Public, and it just kind of captures everyone's excitement. Hi, I'm Arnie Duncan, Secretary of Education. And today we are designating your school and 331 other schools across the country as National Blue Ribbon Schools. Schools that are leading their students to the highest levels of achievement or making outstanding progress in closing achievement gaps. This honor recognizes your students' accomplishments and the amazing hard work and dedication that... We flew to Washington, D.C. to attend the National Conference and Awards Ceremony. While at the ceremony, we found out that Chestnut Hill was nominated due to having exemplary high scores on state testing for the past five years. During the awards ceremony, we were very excited. Turns out that we weren't the only ones. Your hand. Our no. school was cheering us on anyway. the whole time. Can you hear the music? Yeah. Mine just a little jive. No. <laughs> That's right. yeah.
We'd like to say a big thank you to our board and our community for all their support in this. Um, and we'd like to share our award with you. I, I think but you're I'd not allowed thank, to We're, we're going to say thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got you. I'm sorry. There you go. I'll open it for board comment. Congratulations. Great hard work. I, from a focus school to exemplary, uh, it's just uh, wonderful to hear, and it's uh, it makes our whole community feel proud of what you've done, and uh, we feel very fortunate to have <coughs> such great staff and and great organization with us, um, working hard for those scores and to help our kids achieve. So thank you. Can I say congratulations? I can't remember how many years ago you actually came and did a whole presentation and how you had analyzed, you know, all the data yes. from your school and yep. what you were doing to address all the different needs. And I remember back then it was very impressive. Mm -hmm. And it looks like based on what you got this award for that, I mean, it was really acknowledgement for all the very hard work that you've done and yeah. how much caring you've shown. And I don't even remember when, I can't even remember how many years ago that was that you I want to say it was about three years Okay, ago. Um, and I think that that's a really good point that you make because we've just worked so hard and to get this recognition mm -hmm. you wouldn't think it's such a big deal but it's really pulled our yeah. staff together and our students and the community um, and it's kind of nice you know since we've been kind of a long haul this year with no snow or anything <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of just a nice positive atmosphere because this really brought it home for us at Chestnut Hill mm -hmm. um, and also time wise if you look at when we consolidated the schools it was five years ago, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so again, this is kind of something that's really been beneficial to pulling the staff that moved schools to come to Chestnut Hill to saying, wow, look at what we did together mm -hmm. in the new staff. Mm -hmm. So it's been very positive for us. Very good. So congratulations. Thank you. I'm just so proud, uh, proud of you two. And uh, of course, I felt like I still had students there. And we spent 19 years of our life <laughs> as Chestnut Hill parents and uh, just, just as excited now for all of you. So um, thank you for all the hard work and, and, and for the future of the kids, too. I mean, it just really will impact them. I've got two there right now. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Van Hoy's class, they couldn't be more proud. I couldn't be more proud of this school. My kids were so happy that week, two weeks about the awards <laughs> and the dancing and everything going on. <laughs> big flag in the hallway. Yeah, it's uh, very exciting. Yeah, my kids asked me, why didn't you do the whip? <laughs> <laughs> coming in and text messages oh. saying, don't do that. Don't <laughs> <laughs> do this, or what are you going to do? And so we had a great time, and we didn't really decide. We were just kind of glad when we got up there. We put that Bob Seger song. We thought, oh, we have one shot at this. <laughs> we enjoyed it. Six seconds, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well, your kids are obviously excited yeah. Yeah. And, and obviously so thrilled, and just thank you and thank them. It, it's, it's, it's great. It is just mm -hmm. really great. So thanks. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> so we can top that. Makes, makes you feel good, doesn't it? Back to you, Mike. So our shining star employees, um, the first one we're going to recognize today is Joe Majeski. Joe, if you want to come up and join me here, we'll talk a little bit about you, which Joe probably doesn't like, but we will do that. So, um, Some highlights about Joe. Joe has been with the NPS for 18 years in our payroll and business office. She earned her associate's degree in data accounting in 1991. Probably want that left out too, don't you? <laughs> I know the feeling. Uh, worked for Pendel Printing before coming to NPS. Took on NPS employee benefit responsibilities in 2008. In 2014, her position was reclassified to manager of benefits, and that's uh, to be noted this year with some of the things that we have done. Joe was nominated for the Shining Star Award by the NPS by an NPS colleague. 
and her comments were, Joe has always been an exemplary employee and always gone above her job duties. Recently, with the transition from our district self-insured plan to a Mesa high deductible HSA plan, Joe has become even more helpful and accommodating to employees as they work through these changes. Her caring and thoughtful attitude is what I admire most, and I'm thankful to have her on our team. The day after we held one of our insurance informational meetings, I had another employee stop by to say how knowledgeable Joe was in the meeting and how comforted he felt that she was with all our answers and questions. And Joe has helped all of us at one point or another, so we appreciate <laughs> it. Congratulations, Joe. Yep. 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 Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. Congratulations. Thank you for your service. Yes, thank you. A heck of a year this year. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Joe. And our second um, shining star couldn't be here t tonight. And the reason is um, probably why he's a shining star. And uh, uh, so it's Mark Naffy. And uh, unfortunately, Mark couldn't be here. He teaches at SVSU class on Monday evenings and is geared to preparing students for the rigor of college reading. So that is where he's at tonight. They are taking their final exam and he could not miss. So that's the kind of dedicated professional Mark is. A little bit about Mark. Mark has been with MPS for 22 years, has a bachelor's degree from Northwood in management, a second bachelor's degree in elementary education from Saginaw Valley State University and a master's in library media from SVSU. He taught at Plymouth Parkdale and was the media specialist in Plymouth and Cook. He serves as a dedicated beetle that is a building technology and instructional leader for his build for his buildings for 25 years assisting members with technology. Mark was nominated for the Shining Star by the NPS parent. Here are some of her comments. Mr. Naffy is an amazing teacher. My son had him six years ago at Parkdale and now my daughter has him at Plymouth. He makes learning fun for the kids and makes sure no one feels out of place. His communication with his with the parents is the best I've ever had with both of my children. He takes such pride in his work. He is just an all around outstanding teacher. So congratulations to Mark. Thanks to Mark. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. And Mark, if you're having some insomnia some night and you're watching this on tape at night, congratulations <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> that moves us to Board of Education Matters, and the item on the agenda is the superintendent's evaluation. For the audience, we do this annually. Uh, it's a collaboration by the entire board, and I have the pleasure of reading a letter to Mike of, of how we felt about his performance over the last year. And, and another little side, the state keeps talking about how we have to do evaluation of our employees and it's a very fluid field right now. We are still doing this our more traditional way other than uh, really heightening the student achievement aspects. You'll hear that in this. And if and when the state ever proscribes how we must do this, which I almost wish they wouldn't, uh, we will be adapting that standard. But we haven't adapted that standard yet because there's not one yet. So in case people were wondering. Dear Mike, as you are aware, the board reviews your prior year's uh, performance on an annual basis. As student achievement is a major component of that assessment, we cannot assess that aspect of your performance until after the state of Michigan releases that data, typically in November from the prior school year, which is why we finalize your performance review at this time of the year. Cutting to the chase, the entire board feels your performance has been exemplary. All board members give you the highest rating in our overall assessment. One board, rem board member put it very succinctly. Under Mike's leadership, our standardized test scores have improved to be the highest they have ever been. Our budget has stabilized and deficits have decreased and have been essentially eliminated. You've successfully and professionally negotiated labor contracts and set the district on a stable path of facility and curriculum improvements for the next 10 to 20 years, 12 years. Mike, all board members feel you have led the district and community well in these major accomplishments each of which is critical to our long-term success in delivering the best education for Midland's children, not just last year, but for years and decades to come. As for student achievement, as mentioned, test scores are only one component of our students' achievement. The continuing accomplishments in diverse areas such as college scholarship attainment, high college entrance rates among our student population, awards in things such as debate, music, theater, DECA, robotics, athleti athletics, etc., etc., etc are just a few of the many areas our students excel. Your emphasis is in assuring the success of our economically at-risk students is commendable and showing results. One fine example is East Lawn. In your brief time with us, you've led the effort to significantly reduce the number of state-recognized focus schools within, within MPS. While this work is far from done and will never be done, 
We are confident the plans you are pursuing concerning curriculum, staffing, and the new elementary facility will go a long way to closing any achievement gaps going forward. The board is very pleased with the results and process of the facility plan and successful bond financing <coughs> campaign. As one board member put it, it is hard to put into words how impressive it will be when MPS is able to open up a state-of-the-art, world-class elementary school. The work involved regarding curriculum, building design, budgeting the costs, and also keeping the public supportive and involved within, with the school are all very impressive. All board members commented that your initiatives on STEM curriculum throughout the district will pay long-term dividends for our students and further distinguish Midland Public Schools amongst our peers. All board members are, were vociferous in their praise of getting control of the budget and bringing us to economic stability. One board member summarized this by saying, Mike's leadership enabled us to address our aging facility issues in a way that will set the district up well for the next 15 years. All board members cite the balancing of the budget, not just for one year, but structurally for many years going forward is a major accomplishment. Not for the budget's sake, but for enabling us to build ever better opportunities for our children into the future. The board is pleased with your active participation in the Midland community beyond your base responsibilities. You regularly attend student events, and in a district as large as Midland and its many activities and events, it is gratifying you spend so much time doing so. You serve on more than a few leadership boards of organizations in the Midland community. And going forward, board members hope you continue this, and as you continue to grow in your role and your reports grow in theirs, it is hoped by board members that you can dedicate even more time to leadership activities in the community at large. As we said last year, the board is pleased with your constant communications, not only to us, but to all parents and community members. One <coughs> board member stated, quote, I continue to appreciate Mike's focus on communication with our parents and our community through the weekly online newsletter, the quarterly Midland Daily News publication, and the district website MPS Connect feature. I appreciate how on multiple occasions I have received comments about Mike meeting with parents and teachers one-on-one -on -one in his office and what a positive experience it has been for them, unquote. So Mike, to repeat, the board grades your performance this past year as exemplary. Maybe more important than this past year's performance, the board is excited about where MPS is going in the future. As this board member stated, quote, MPS is in a state of evolution. The change in educational climate, financial stresses, and overall state and local economics necessitated change. Under Mike's leadership, MPS has embraced change as we charge into the future. I truly feel that we as a district are exactly where we should be and that Mike will continue leading us down the path of future success. The best interests of all of our children are his number one priority. I cannot ask for anything more." Unquote. So Mike, we look forward to your continuing fine leadership of our district. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank, oh, thank you guys for the nice evaluation. And <coughs> well, before I, you comment, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anybody else care to comment? I guess I, what I would comment is Mike, is, you're always there to lift others up around you, whether it's administrators, teachers, parapros, you're always there to highlight the good works of the staff that surrounds you. And I appreciate that immensely. And I think that's a, a, a huge plus uh, on the leadership column as well. Anybody else? I was gonna say, I, I'm just continuing to be impressed how you've dealt with some pretty major challenges and. You do it without wavering, and I think you do it in a way that a lot of people may not even realize how hard you've worked to get us where we needed to be. Thank you. And I would say it seems like you've been here longer than you have, Mike. <laughs> when you look at the lit yeah. litany of all the things mm -hmm. that we have all been working on and, and trying to accomplish, and and uh, we thank you for that leadership and that guidance because it is challenging, and um, we know there's always moving targets in education, and you do it with. Um, sincerity and care and, um, with, and with excellent communication so people know what's happening and we all appreciate that. Say thank you. <coughs> and it's a pleasure working with you also. Well, it's a pleasure working with uh, this board, this community. You know, I think uh, from the moment you hired me uh, or the moment I got a phone call to even come interview, I, gotta, <laughs> I kind of um, was difficult to think thought about leaving my hometown, you know, and so um, the community itself sold my wife and I, and we decided to make that big leap, and boy, it hasn't let us down. It's a great community. Um, we have great parents, great students that are sent to us. We have staff that does a fantastic job, and, uh, you know, superintendent's evaluation is just a reflection of everything this community does, and so um, I look at it myself and say, you know, 
I don't know that I did all this. There's a whole lot of other people that did all this. So um, I just get, I guess I get, you know, I get a little bit of that at the end. So it's, we're doing great things. A lot of work still to do. You know, like we said, education's changing, evolving. Let's embrace it and let's keep right on movement. So. Okay. Well, thank you, Mac. Glad you're with us. We'll move on to um, requests to address the board. Oh, oh, that. Oh, we do have to do an approval on that. <laughs> All righty, oh. we will do an approval on that. Can I accept the motion to accept Mike's evaluation? I motion to accept Mike's evaluation. So moved by Pam. I'll support that. Yvonne will support. Uh, we've already commented, so I'll go away from the comment period. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed. Let the note say that was unanimous verbal approval. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Now we'll move on to requests to address the board. Anybody? We have no prepared comments, I don't believe. Uh, does anybody care to wish to address the board? All you guys in the back row? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay, seeing none, we'll move on to uh, curriculum and instruction assessment. And I assume Lynn has some committee meeting minutes for us. Yes, we met on Monday, November 23rd, and we were here at the Administration Center. We talked about major change proposals, and there were four of them at, that were presented to the committee by Penny Miller Nelson and Scott Cochran. The first is on a Survey of Biology. The proposal removes the survey title from the Point 2 Survey of Biology course. Survey of Physics, the proposal eliminates the Point 2 Survey of Physics course, and Point 2 Physics will remain as a course offering. French 1 and German 1. The proposal creates the addition of a point three option to French one and German one. Currently, these courses are only designated as point two. Students in consultation with their teachers, counselors, and parents would choose whether they want to take French one or German one as a point two course or as a point three level course. This proposal does not add an additional course. Point two and point three would be taught in the same class. Mm -hmm. Math Lab 8. The proposal formalizes a course titled Math Lab 8. This course, currently re running as a pilot, is taken in addition to the student's regular math class. Math Lab 8 provides additional support to students experiencing difficulties with math concepts and skills. It may be taken one or two semesters. Students will be placed in the course based on teacher recommendation and assessment scores, and the course design follows the model for Math Lab 6 and 7. These changes are being presented tonight, and um, they will be available for a 28-day examination period. Next, we talked about the M-STEP results, and Brian presented results of the 2015 M-STEP. Building proficiency levels and achievement gaps were discussed. At this time, only state-level comparisons are available. And was expected, overall proficiency levels dropped in comparison to the MEEP and MME due to the increased rigor of the assessment. The data revealed that the historical trend of significantly outpacing state averages by 10 to 25 percent across the grade and content levels continued. And uh, we adjourned at 310, and we won't be meeting again until January 18th. Thank you. Any questions for Lynn or other committee members? None? And we'll move on to facilities and finance facilities and operations. And I don't think we have a study report this time. Nope. And we have a bunch of gifts, though. So I'll turn it back. We do. I have three items for you tonight. Uh, the first is for information. We have uh, 16 gifts totaling $26,747.67. They are a wide variety, like usual, um, all the way from both High School Boosters Club, you'll see Seabird Elementary there, uh, Laura Ludington Hollenbeck Foundation. Contemporary, uh, Contemporary Review Club, Nicholas uh, Family Charitable Foundation, and the Midland Area Community Foundation. And like always, very appreciative of those gifts. Uh, the second thing that have the, does require your action, though, because of the amount of money involved, there are two gifts under 7.2. Um, they total $15,697.18. The first one for $6,697. And 18 cents is for all the tournament entry fees for the fall programs, uh, sports programs for the Middle High Athletic Boosters Club. And the other one was a $9,000 gift for band buses for the uh, football playoff games from 
uh, the HH Dow High Music Boosters Club, and both of those are kind of after the fact, but it, it, they, they can't be before. Okay, let's get in <laughs> so uh, those would need your approval uh, tonight. Okay. Uh, uh, while we're doing retroactive action, that's just fine. Uh, <coughs> any motion for approval of 7.2? So we, we can do the whole thing at once? Yeah. Well, the yeah. other? Yeah. Motion to approve item 7.2, uh, gifts totaling $15,697.18. Support. So we have motion and support. Any comment or question? Thank you to the donors before yeah. I vote. I mean, this is wonderful. Well, like great. I said at the last meeting, it was very impressive on US 10 to see all nine of those Midland Public School buses carrying the Dow Band <laughs> driving great. down the road, one after the other. And to see the, the support to the boosters from the community with the booster bash and how that really helps uh, the school and use money in a different way as well. So it supports the athletes, the the music program, as as well as just makes our all our programs stronger. Yep. Okay, so all in favor of 7.2 say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. The last, I have one more piece for information. Uh, this is not monetary in the sense of it was a dollar amount, but these are items that were donated, which we do get from time to time. You'll see uh, two violins, uh, Kathy Parrott's uh, retired teacher, teacher leader from the district that donated those. Uh, two bell sets from Linda Owner Foster. And then let's go to the next page a little bit, but there's a bunch of pools that went to the Building Trades Program by the Great Lakes Safety Training Center. So you'll see uh, table saws, hand drills, 20 foot ladder, and a lot of other tools. Wow. So again, blessed yeah. again with donations, uh, not just uh, financial donations. And thanks to all the donors and everybody gets involved mm -hmm. in our community. Mm -hmm. it, it really differentiates us. Thank you. Does. Move on to human resources, and I'll turn it over to Mike, right? Yeah, we have no report, but we do have um, some um, people who we'd like to recommend the board staff would extend the symp sympathies to the families of Mar Marlene Ordaway, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing the last name right, Ordaway, who passed away on November 13th, 2015. Mm -hmm. She was a paraprofessional at East Lawn Parkdale and State Street for 25 years, retiring in 1995, and the second one, um, the funny staff member, oh, excuse me, um, and the second part is staff members who have retired or are going to retire. We have Gail Innocencio, I think about that one for a minute, Carpenter Street School fifth grade teacher who will retire June 17th, and Inez Jones, East Lawn Elementary Building Manager, will retire on April 2nd. Thank you, and our condolences to the family of Ms. Ordway. Uh, in the agenda, there's correspondence to and from the board listed a variety of organizations and individuals and you'll see our scheduled list of activities I'd remind the board that um, uh, we'll have our organizational meeting on January 18th where we kick off a new official year for the board cycle um, at that point and I will also say the slate committee has done their job and I will be calling you individually to let you know what happened on that and the slate will be proposed at that meeting um, that we go to study discussion session. I'll start to my right. Oh, Pam. I, I start with Scott, but he's not here. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Chestnut Hill. It was real mm -hmm. wonderful to hear and see you here tonight. Um, I'm excited about the M step data that Brian shared, and and look forward to seeing more of that. By the way, it will be we have the embargo will be left, and we will be announcing that um, on Wednesday statewide. Oh. So, excellent. But correct Thursday. Thursday. And then uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and uh, have a safe new year, I guess, this, till we return again. <coughs> right. Thanks to Chestnut Hill, wonderful presentation. Congratulations again. Thanks for staying to the end of the board meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to all the students that came. Did we do a good job tonight? We're at the yeah. end now. <laughs> so, 7.30. Thanks for coming that. tonight. We got a good crowd of, Mid I think you're, are you all Midland High students tonight? All right, thank you very we much. Do have you chose the right meeting. Pardon me? We do have a visitor from Bullock Creek as well tonight. Oh, okay. Oh, well, ah. thank you. Right. Mm -hmm. Great. So, um, yeah, and once again, I'm just, as we are at all board meetings, just amazed at the donations oh, and the just kidding. broad range of things that people donate to. And today I'm figuring it's probably with the 
in-kind gifts, probably about $45,000, and that's just this month, and that's just that's that's crazy. just outstanding. And we can't thank the community enough for their support of our school system. Lynn. Well, once again, congratulations to Chestnut Hill. Um, the chipmunks have a special place in uh, the Baker family, so. Um, I think that's how they divided us tonight. Those who went to Chestnut Hill. That's right, I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to come over. I want to come over and see that big banner and, and all that fun. So um, and congratulations to Mark and, and Joe. Those are it's always fun to get the Shining Star Awards and all the great things that they do that we don't get to see every day. And we have our cute little Adams Elementary cards. Mm -hmm. This nice. one's made by Ruby. So thank you. We see all all their great artwork here. And I'll take that home and set that on my, my shelf. And when we talk about all the gifts in our agenda, it's just amazing. But also just all the um, don donations that are being brought into the schools and that the kids and the staff are putting together to help each other, whether it's giving trees or food donations. I'm always impressed when I, I read what all of you are doing <coughs> to help others. And uh, you know, it starts right from the kindergarten level and goes all the way up. So thank you for all that you do because that really says a lot about our community. And I know there's lots of concerts and things going on, so lots of fun things that we can we can go to to get into the Christmas spirit. And on that note, enjoy your, your Christmas holiday and we'll see you next year. <coughs> I too want to thank the Chestnut Hill staff for all their hard work. Um, and I could be more appreciative of it myself. Um, actually, it was a Parkdale, proud of of a Parkdale, Parkdale Panther. <laughs> First week to watch it be torn down, but I, it's nice to see the progress. I'm looking forward to seeing the new stuff going on and all the growth we're going to have. And uh, I'll go get a brick here and take it home. Um, <laughs> I want to thank Mike for all your hard work, everything you've done here. Um, I don't have a lot here. Um, happy holidays and stay safe. I'm going to risk being redundant and say the same things, but <laughs> I'm also part of the Chestnut Hill fan club. And so thank you. Congratulations to you. And thank you so much for your dedication to your profession, to Midland Public Schools, and of course, most of all, to your students. You're great. You're awesome. Thank you so much. And um, um, I guess that's, I just want to say two thanks to Mike for all your hard work. You're awesome too. And it's, <laughs> <laughs> you are. And it's, um, I'm glad you chose us. So thanks so much. I hope everybody has great holidays. Thanks, Yvonne. And to Chestnut Hill, thank you. You're, you're a, uh, the, I'm saying it for, for the kids and the future kids in the neighborhood over there. It, it's, it's, it's great that we got such a beacon. We now have 20% of our buildings that have been Blue Ribbon schools. And I'm hoping that inspires others in our wow. district to want to achieve, this, achieve the same thing. So that's amazing. pretty, you guys have helped set in the bar. And that's, that's yeah. very, very nice. And I just loved your kids' reaction. Yes. <laughs> that, that made my night, so thank you very much. Um, I'd like to make a comment, I guess, uh, with all the, obviously, the very public stuff going on with Dow and Dow mm -hmm. Corning, et cetera. Uh, we are in communication with them. We learn things a little bit in front, but not a whole lot more. But we have every confidence based on our contacts that, you know, I even hate to use the word survive this. That's, that's too negative. Mm -hmm. That we're going to be just fine and, uh, and we'll be just fine and we'll be do even greater things as we go forward. And they're very supportive of our processes in terms of the STEM, et cetera, et cetera, going forward. So, um, uh, so I had a big sigh of relief after the big announcement, and I'm feeling pretty good about where we're headed. So, That's where I was going to start. So um, <laughs> I, I, I would have to say that Dow's done a great job of keeping us informed. Obviously, they can't release things too soon. And I give Nancy Lamb credit. She's our contact there, and she um, has kept me informed. and. The, the day of the announcement, you know, just an hour after that press release, I get a personal phone call from her trying to uh, go, go through it with us. Um, and um, it does sound to be reasonable, pretty reasonable to us, I think. Uh, you know, the corning piece, I think, is more of the wor worry part side of it. You'll, you might see some, they like the word synergies, some con consolidation of jobs. But it looks like the growth of the company could be in good hands, and Midland's going to be able to play a big part of that. So that's a, a good piece of it, I think. Tomorrow, Jerry and I have been invited to, I think, a pretty quick meeting of leaders, the community leaders. To, so we'll go tomorrow and listen to a little, to a little bit more from the community leaders uh, from Dow uh, Chemical uh, as well. 
Um, last week I attended a, a meeting, um, Excellence and Equity meeting. It was a group that I think Jerry and I met last year when we went to Lansing. Mm -hmm. They asked us to go to Lansing, if you remember that. And they are working on um, protecting the funding for 20J districts who have been hit pretty hard, you know, harder than other school districts. And so that's their purpose uh, mainly. We've set a couple goals for the school year and that's to, um, you know, encourage our legislators to use a 2x formula, not a 10x formula like they've used the last two years, um, and consider putting um, 20 day districts back to being eligible for 31A at risk funds. <coughs> um, we have at risk students as well, and we should have funds for those students as well. The third thing that they're going to keep an eye on, close watch on, and we all should as well, is um, what has occurred with Detroit Public and the, the long debt ridden years that they've had there and obviously the state's got to deal with that but they need to deal with that in the best way without hurting other children in the state of Michigan as we go forward so those were two three big pieces out of that um, last week and um, they've hired a lobbying firm and hopefully we can maybe have a little more success in Lansing than we've had the last couple of years so we're getting ahead of it the governor will announce um, um, his plans for the school aid fund in the state of the state address in February. So it's coming real quick. That budget year is coming right around the corner and we'll know what's coming at us. Um, been in contact with Dr. Pretty at Northwood in regards to that purchase agreement. He's now had a legal purchase agreement um, drawn up. We'll have that looked at, but we still haven't fully set the price on it. We will. He, he keeps reassuring me that we'll agree. We'll see, we'll see where that goes and that'll be the final piece and I expect that to be on our January agenda uh, for action as well. Chestnut Hill not only was a blue ribbon school, but they were also one um, uh, or earned the Energy Star rating. And so uh, wow. they've had a lot of good things over there <laughs> going on lately. And so uh, one of our buildings that earned Energy Star, and so we're seeing significant dollars in energy savings over there. And you can only imagine what our bond program is going to do mm -hmm. to enhance right. that. I think we'll see, um, if not all of our buildings, um, hope certainly most of them become Energy Star ratings as we go forward. So that helps our general fund significantly and puts dollars to educating children instead of uh, inefficient equipment in the buildings. Um, we met with Project Lead Way. You've heard us talk about the STEM curriculum, Project Lead Way, um, that's going to become, uh, you know, 40, 50 percent of the science curriculum um, that we're going to do in the future in the elementary level. And we've been meeting with the uh, groups there and beginning to plan out how we're going to train that first group of teachers which is the East Lawn Carpenter staff to prepare for the opening of the new uh, school at, at, on the central campus so um, we're planning that and moving along pretty significantly fast going forward. Um, we had, if you recall, we had an Office of Civil Rights audit of our CTE programs. Nothing that we did wrong, but just an, an audit. You get drawn in the, out of the hat, and we haven't been drawn. And so they were here, reviewed our, our buildings, our, our procedures, and um, we had three findings, which is really good. Um, they told us in the meeting that the average is 12 to 15 findings, that you did very well. All three findings were relatively small, um, but we do have to do a, a, an correction plan for those three findings um, and one of the correction plans is like you know signage and pieces like that that will have to be done right away um, some of the other pieces can be done over over years um, and you know changing of curbs for handicap access mm -hmm. stuff like that throughout throughout the district and so um, those three action plans will come to you in January as well as we have to send those at the end of the month of January so you'll see the, that soon as well and that is all I have for this week Okay. I also wanted to thank the students for coming. It's nice to look up and see so many students there interested in what we do here. You know, and if we all thank you, we can keep you another 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they, they did get off light. This is what was short. So. <laughs> yeah. Anything else for the good of the order? No. Seeing none, we'll stand adjourned and Merry Christmas, everyone. Ah.